Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with another episode of FTB's Academy. Uh, we're back in my world, kinda. Uh, so this is now a server that's open to uh, all the patrons. I thought it'd be a lot of fun to get everybody on the server and play, so I'm going to be opening this up probably when the video comes out, and, you know, we'll get a lot of friends. Now, I did move my single-player world over there, and then, you know, I worked on it a little bit. I had always, always been planning to restart in a server world, or at least, you know, uh, cheat in the stuff that we had and you know just pick another place to be but hey you know what we might as well keep the world it's as good as any other now uh i have uh, made the smeltery just a taste bigger <laughs> just a little bit throwing all my cobble in there and i did go back to the nether and i got myself a foxhound if i could get it to sit on the furnace sit sit there you go. No, that's you have no view over there. Well, you need to sit anyways. Uh, don't punch it. It'll set you on fire. But if I could get it to sit on this furnace, it would go, I don't know, I'll say 30% faster, 25, maybe something like that. I mean, it was noticeably faster, but it wasn't like crazy. This guy took coal to tame. And I mean, like a stack of coal. Like I took a lot of damage uh, getting myself a foxhound. All right, so things I want to go do today. I have uh, processed a lot of ores, uh, so we got a bunch of stuff to work with. I have, uh, oh, I moved this over to a quad drawer, so we got an awful lot of wood to play with, right? 25 stacks there. I don't think anything else has really changed. I think we're either going to take open this, uh, take over this village, or we're going to make like an aquatic base underneath. Uh, I'm not really sure. I got to look at all the tools that are available for building. But here's what I want to do. I want to come up here to the quest book, and I should be in the same exact spot. So this guy is kind of done. Like there's a little stuff that needs to get done. That whatever, we'll figure it out. So we got basic storage, which eh, whatever, and we got transportation. I want to start in here. Uh, boy, I'd like to start in there. How do you make this thing? Yeah, yeah, emeralds and, okay, yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. Uh, how do we go back? Okay, there we go. So I want to work on servo, right? Servo, right here. So this isn't bad. And let's see, escape, escape. And then right here, oh, fluid ducts. Okay, so we can make basic fluid ducts and we can make basic item ducts. So that's kind of what I want to do because I want to, I want to automate some of the portions of this thing over here that it's just, uh, it'd just be easier to do that. So let's grab, I think this thing's going to be iron heavy. So let's grab some iron. Let's grab some redstone. Let's take a look at what a servo, right? We only need what these basic ones. Oh, glass. Uh, we got 10 pieces. We'll be, uh, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. So let's see, let's take those and we'll do that. Let's take these and get some guys working. There we go. I mean, we only got 45 blocks. So I think we're good for the moment. So we're going to make, um, uh, yeah, we're going to make nine. That'll work. All right. So we got those. And what did I get? I got a reinforced retriever. Now that's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. And we're going to hold on to that for just a second. And then I need to make fluid ducts and item ducts, which is going to take probably copper, probably lead. Right. And let's, uh, let's pull up duct here. And now there's two versions. There's a see-through and there's a solid. And I always like the solid, right? You're a fluid duct, you're an item duct. Let's see, what are you? Oh, tin, that's right. Tin, man, tin was a pain to find, right? Well, you got some tin there and silver. Where are you at, tin? Where are you at, yo? All right, let's, uh, let's unblock the tin because we're gonna need it. Okay, so we're gonna get, I already lost it. Where is it? Uh, item duct? Yeah, right there, item duct. So let's get, uh, we should have gotten more than that. Let's get, a couple, right? Cause I'm going to need these. Uh, let's, let's, let's just keep going. Item ducks are good. Item ducks are good. And fluid ducks, fluid ducks are good. I don't really need fluid ducks at the moment, but cool. We'll get them. Okay. So we got both of those things. Now, what did you give me? 32 fluid duct and 32 opaque. Uh, I'm going to take the opaque. It's a little easier on servers and whatnot. If you use opaque, but the see-through are kind of cool. Right. Same thing here. Uh, yeah, I'll take the opaque. All right. And then they're down here to make a lava duct. Oh, hardened fluid duct. Okay. Hardened, hardened. So we're going to need invar. And that's what I want to kind of check out here in not in Come on invar invar right there is another one of these alloying. It's two iron to a nickel. Yeah. Let's get a bunch of that going. There's a bunch of nickel and we got some iron. So let's, uh, let's go and 
Oh, I thought a dude was standing in the smeltery for a minute. All right, so we'll put in uh, six of those. So then we're going to have to put in... Uh, no, I need iron. We need iron. We'll have to put in 12 of those. And we're just going to let them... We're just going to let them do their things. Like, that's kind of neat with the uh, with the different layers. All right, let's let those guys go. And let's see where we are in quests. Yeah, I'm not going to go this way unless I have the parts. Well, test locator. Uh, I don't have paper yet. I don't have paper. Dude, stop shoving me. Right? You, the jam guy. Guess what, jam guy? Uh, you're going to take that to the face. Yeah, go ahead. Go tell some people about it. Thank you for the experience. All right, let's uh, let's do a thing. Oh, I need I need hardened anyways. I need hardened, so we gotta pour out. Are you guys done? Are you alloyed? Are you alloying? Molten invar two blocks. All right, that's what I'm talking about. You need alloys or you need an uh, invar to do a lot of things. Like item ducts are cool. We can do a lot of stuff with item ducts, but the uh, fluid ducts we need the hardened kind because the hardened kind will uh, take hot fluids like lava, and I want to pipe this tank over. I'm probably going to move it over one block, but I want to, uh, uh, I don't want to fall in the thing. Come on. Yeah, let's, uh, let's at least, let's get it moving here. So you can come over here. Uh, what happened to my tank? Where are you? Right there. Okay. You can go right there. And did I get a piece of sand? Yeah, there we go. It's slowly expanding. Man, the invar is slow. And then I'm going to make, uh, we're going to make fluid ducts and we're going to make the hardened kind right there, which is going to be taking the other ones that we made. Why doesn't it show that? Hardened fluid duct. Hardened fluid duct. I thought you could upgrade a regular fluid duct. No, I guess you can only make them see through. Okay. Well, whatever. I got uh, I got uses for both. Right? You can never have too many ducts. Never have too many ducts. All right. So let's make a hardened fluid duct. We're going to have to put a, put a boom. Take this invar. We're going to need it. Let's make a hardened fluid duct opaque. Right? Right there. Okay. Now we can start using some stuffs. So first thing, lava, right? And we'll find a way to make lava. I haven't looked into it yet. So hardened fluid duct, sure. And then we'll use one of these servos right there on the tank and turn off the redstone so it's going to suck out all the time. And there we go. It's nice and full. This guy's still got 25 buckets in it. We're cool there for a while. Now, all this garbage down here, I want to get, I want to get a crate. Let's get a crate. Do I have, do we have one? Yeah, we got a crate. And let's, uh, yeah, let's dig this out here a little bit because I would like to, I'd like to get, well, I'd like to get underneath a lot of this stuff and man, it's going to be kind of a bear to dig all this out. All right. So I got it kind of dug out and here's what I'd like to do is let's take these item ducks and let's run. So I've got a whole bunch. Oh, I almost had it all dug out. I got a whole bunch of basins that are really handy for, you know, kind of mass uh, pour outs of things. Well, let's see. Let's go here, there, there, right? Okay. Item ducks, item D U C K ducks right there. I know it's not ducks. Uh, and then, yeah, no, that should be cool. And then we'll take this duct or we'll take this crate. We'll put it right there. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can get ourselves down here where I can look at it. And then we'll take that reward one that we got the retriever. So instead of putting servos on everything that I want to uh, have pull out, I'm just going to do this and I'm just going to retrieve everything that's connected to this guy. That's a pretty good reward. Like that's pretty powerful. So now I don't have to worry about any of that garbage. Uh, what do I have to fill this back in with sand? Yeah. Sand should be good. So then we can, uh, then we can pour everybody out. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, right there. Yeah, I'll put a piece of sand on it. Okay, that's all done. Cool. We got a little bit of automation over here. That makes that a little better. I need to put a redstone clock on it, but we don't have a clock at the moment. Now, what we could do, what we could do, just so you know here, we could take off one of these drains and I could not item duct, not item duct. I could take one of these hardened fluid ducts and do something like that and put a servo on there. I could. Let me see if I need that coming up. I want to get into some technology. And so, oh, we got to pick up. We got to pick up what we got uh, over here. Transportation right there. Thank you. And I'm going to get some more hardened. Yeah, I'll take them. I will take them. And then we got to make super laminar, which is going to be ones that I got to fill with glowstone. I'm pretty sure. Or hardened glass and bronze and stuff I don't have. Okay, so let's jump over. Yeah, technology. 
Let's make some of these things, right? A coal generator. I'm cool with that. We got some of these casings. We got cobblestone. We got coal. We got all the pieces. Uh, do I have coal here? Yes, I do. Do we have those casings here? Yes, I do. Right? And we could make a, we could make a generator. What was this thing called? Coal generator. Thank you. We now have some, you know, some power generation. I'm just going to stick this over here for right now. I'm not sure I need it, but let's pick up the quest as we go along because I'm going to get coal coke. Okay, so that's better for making... Oh, look at all the stuff that opened up. Ooh, look at, look at all the stuff. All right, steam and a magmatic dynamo. Those, I, I want to get into thermal, and those are what I'm really looking for. Dyna... Yeah, dynamo. There we go. All right, so steam and magmatic. So I'm going to need an invar gear, which I can do, and I'm going to need some silver. And then over here, I'm going to need some copper and some silver. Okay. All right, so where is where is all the stuff, right? I knew I had some silver. We have some redstone. Let's just see what we can get done here. Uh, so you, I think I'm going to need two of you, so we might as well make you now. And I'm going to need one copper gear right there. And then I'm going to... Did I, did I run out of the ingot? I did. All right. So now we got a steam dynamo. Nice. And we're going to get a magmatic dynamo. So I can do bang to bang to bang right there. Okay. So one's going to need to be, right? Steam's going to re require water and solid fuel. Do we have a pump of any kind? Oh, right there. So that's all my water. That's all my water. Do I have an infinite water source in this pack? The water condensator. Yeah, that's my infinite water source, but we're not there yet. So we're going to be probably on magmatic dynamo, which requires lava. Okay, so we could do that. Let's uh, let's just stack up the technology here and let's get our rewards. Thank you for an aqueous accumulator. Oh, that's right. That's right. So steam dynamo is totally valid. That's right. Oh, back this one up. Then over here, they gave me a reservoir. Is the reservoir full of lava? It sure is. Okay, all right, we got options. We got options now because this is a water gathering thing and that's power free. Okay, I just want to see where this, uh, where these go here. So the pitiful fuel generator, I've never made this one, but I want to see what's going on. So this doesn't look that hard, right? It's, uh, there was one thing that I needed. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we get there, right? Pit pitiful, pitiful, right? This is, uh, industrial four going. All right. So two iron gears. Cool. And we're going to get that. Oh, and I didn't have planks and I didn't have a redstone block. That's what I was thinking about. I need to get some plankage. Do I have no plankage? That's all right. We'll make some and... Uh, we needed something else. I don't remember what it was. All right. Uh, right there. Oh, maybe we didn't. Oh, it's the furnace. We need the furnaces. Right? I've got some furnaces up there. All right. So pitiful fuel generator. Oh, one, one thingy. One ingot of the gold. Right? And I don't actually know what you take, but I'm assuming... <laughs> just sad. That's the quest. I'm assuming that you take some coal or something. Right? Uh, burn time. Uh, right in here no okay would you take would you take wood right would you take some of this uh let's grab some sticks too let's just learn so do you take sticks oh yeah you do five rf a tick okay so this is a uh that's a oh i can't think of what it's called that was the lowest tier of generator where it's a survivalist generator that's what that thing is all right all right let's pick up the quest for that one Bada boom, it gives me 127 sticks. Dude, we are we are cool on sticks. Like, there you go. I've got, um, yeah, we've got a couple of thousand, right? We got a thousand sticks. All right, so from here, it's going to be make a power cube, right? And make some leadstone flux ducts. And worse than pipes, energy test locators. And then it's going to be start be into this. So I'm going to rip this equipment out right here. All right, so I got everything crafted overnight. So let's come and take a look here, see what we get. We get a reinforced kit, which is going to be good. We're going to get some more flux ducts. Cool. And we're going to get some iron and some beefage. All right. Very cool. So now we've got to go and decide what we want to do. Like, clearly, these guys are going to need power, right? And so here's my choices. I've got a junkie generator. 
I've got uh, a decent coal generator, but, you know, it's, uh, it's going to be unupgradable. I've got one that requires lava, but I don't have a lava transfer system yet. And I should check, do I, can I make lava? Can we make lava? Uh, nothing that I can do at the moment, but we do have several options, uh, astral sorcery and in thermal itself. So I'm going to go for the steam dynamo just to start with. And, you know, if I'm going to be playing with thermal, let's make the wrench, right? What's the wrench called? The uh, crescent hammer. Uh, I don't know why it's a hammer and not a wrench, but let's go and take this. Oh, let's get a couple of chests here. Do I have room for a couple of chests? Yeah, I think I can do it. I think I got to come back for this guy. Do I have the room? All right, hold on, hold on. Let's get, let's get rid of those. And see with the wrench, you can uh, shift click this stuff and take that. And we got to ditch offhand torches and I could probably make room by eating this experienced yum yum. So I'm just going to stick this stuff uh, in here for right now. Now, very first thing I'm going to need to do is I got to get water. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there, I'm going to stick a fluid duct right here. This is the regular old non-hardened fluid ducts, right? I'm going to stick a fluid duct there. Let's uh, floaty oat uh, over there and let's hook up this dude, the aqueous accumulator. And the more water blocks that are around this thing, the better right for speed okay and eh, there we go and we're gonna get uh, another one of these eh, and orange is out so it should already be accumulating water and send it that way very nice all right float 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 and we'll come in here all right so now that i've got water and we'll put that right there let's set the steam dynamo right on top of it boom Right, steam dynamo. Now it's filling up with water, and all I gotta do is give it power. And let's give it this cold coke that we got. So cold coke will burn for longer. And then we can uh, then we can take the energy out. Uh, let's do a thing. Let's take the energy cell, and let's slap it on top. And I gotta check the configuration because bottom is usually out. So now it's absorbing energy. Let's upgrade it. Boom! So it can hold some more. And then, uh, then I'm going to come out somehow. I guess my machines are going to be right here. Let's stack them up. Would you not? Would you? I thought I already killed you, jam guy. I mean, uh, selectively enforce the rules. Uh, so, uh, let's see. Right there and right there. So, it is coming out of this side. That's not really having power. Can I, uh, can I disconnect that with the wrench? Can I? Oh, uh, yeah. Nice and clean. So we'll send power out over there. Let's put our machinery down. Uh, just personal preference, uh, smelting on the bottom and pulverizing on the top, right? And then I can set sides. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to take everything in and then I'm going to send everything to the bottom. And then here, I'm going to kind of do the same thing. I'm going to take everything in and I'm going to send everything out. And for the moment, I'm just going to stack up a couple of chests there we go. We've got a system. I'm actually going to need one more for uh, some byproducts that I don't want. But yeah, there we go. We got a we got a thing. So I can put my iron ore in here, and it's going to pulverize away. Now we really we really should make some kits for this. Let's see. Do we have invar? I've got enough for two kits, I think. Right. And what would it take to make the uh, what would it take to make this kit right here? Oh, it's going to need bronze, which is this, which is that, which is this, which is three copper to a tin. I got tin. I got copper. Ooh, three copper to a tin. All right, let's do that. So let's get, uh, let's get one, two, three, four, right? Let's get four tin. And so that's going to make 12 copper, I believe, right? Uh, uh, you and you put those in there. Those should melt up pretty fast. And uh, I love this new system. I made some Electrum earlier for one of the uh, one of the thingies that one of these thingies needed. Let's see how this is going to go. Come on, baby. You can do it. Make me right there. Ah, so close. Right there. So you guys should have already made bronze if you were doing the pickaxe progression. Right. So I'm going to get I'm going to get probably a block's worth. But let's uh, let's pour it out over here already. And, you know, again, I'm going to look for some sort of redstone timer to try to automate some of this a little bit uh, right there. Thank you, retriever. Because Oh, no, 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 no. We needed four. We need four because we got to make a gear. Right. And what did I get overall? Seven. Uh, we could start. I could start pouring out a block. 
right? And get those. Okay. Yeah, because I got to go back for another one now that I think about it. Okay, so we're going to make this guy, and it's just that, and then this, right? And we'll make the other thing while I'm looking at it. Uh, augment. So I would like to make a couple of these guys, but this is kind of gold heavy. Let's see what we got left for gold. Uh, I mean, we got it, right? We got it. So let's make some of these. So it's going to be two of you dudes and two of you guys. All right, so I got all my kits made, so let's come down here, right? Let's uh, slap these guys on. Now, if you've never used this, this is how to upgrade, but it gives you augmentation slots that I can stick in upgrades, and so I just made these guys faster, but now they require a lot more power. Actually, probably more power than this little guy is able to output, but whatever, right? I've got, uh, I got stored up power here. That's why I like having all of this setup. All right, so I got those guys. So this is going to be a pretty good way to go and do things. And oh, I love this. I got bonus output from doing that iron. That is so nice. Dudes, why? These guys are everywhere. Holy cow. All right, so the next thing I want to get done is, oh, I got to I got to collect something. What do I have to collect? I don't I don't see anything advanced. Oh, because I made a kit. Ah, uh, because I made a kit. Okay. And that gives me another one. Uh, I'll save that because we are going to need it, but I want to go into another chapter that's pretty important. Uh, so let's see. I want to go into right here, technology beginner. I need the actually editions manual, which apparently is a canola seed and some paper. Now, I don't have any paper, but I can make sawdust, and I'm pretty sure that I can take some of this, right, and let's go use our new pulverizer. And I'm pretty sure that I can stick one of you dudes in there. And what are you going to make? You're going to make eight sawdust. Well, make a bunch more because I'll make paper out of everybody. Right? Oh, yeah, that's going to make me a lot of paper. I mean, I still got to go get sugar cane, but whatever. Right? Isn't that, uh, wasn't that what it was? Paper? Oh, and a water bucket. Oh, I need a water bucket out of my backpack. Pardon me. Let's, uh, let's add that. And I guess I'll make the rest. Uh, two? Did I need more? I only think I needed two, but let's get four just in case. Uh, right there, and then we'll take this guy. And I love having the backpack on keybind. All right, so I got that. I need a canola seed. Uh, you are canola. Thank you. Let's go get this dude over here. So I need the manual. Uh, is That's not what it is. Manual. There you go. So we got manuals for industrial four going and for actually additions. That's pretty good. And batania has got a manual. So I'm going to get that uh, quest completed. Right. And I didn't get anything else for that. Okay. And this is what I want to make the atomic reconstructor. So four redstone, four iron and a casing. And I've got both of those and a casing should be in there. So let's make the atomic whatever atomic reconstructor. And I usually like to use this thing with either a pressure plate or a button. So let's make a button for it. And uh, let's show you some of the stuff that it can do. So let's come over here because it needs power. And I'm going to slap it right there so it's on the power thing. I'll put the button over it. Right? Oh, uh, I need a redstone torch. I need a redstone torch. In its current mode, the default mode, it just fires. One after the other after the other. And you can turn that to use redstone if you knew how to make a redstone torch. All right. So this, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to flip this dude over. Right. Ah, there we go. So now it's on pulse. So now you have to push the button. So if I drop stuff right here uh, and let's take let's take this iron. Right. There we go. They've been transformed into a nori and that. Yeah, there we go. We can get some stuff now. Let's see what that did. Oh, yeah, it broke everything wide open. So now we can use this for power transmission and we can use some of the machines to farm, to pick up, to do lots and lots of stuff. All right. So, you know, before we wrap up, I think I want to make one more machine from thermal that I kind of feel like it's left out here. I want to make the induction smelter. So this guy just isn't that hard to rip out. I'm going to need a machine frame and let's see, two copper gears. Do I do I not have copper? Hello? Uh, we got copper right there. Okay. Uh, so two copper gears right there. We're going to need one of these uh, reception coil thingies. Got it. We're going to need an Invar gear. Got it. And uh, two pieces of sand. 
And I feel like this is an easier recipe than normal. Something, maybe not. Maybe it's the uh, magma crucible that I'm thinking of that requires nether bricks. Right? Magma crucible? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Okay. So I want this thing because it makes alloying a lot easier. That I can just kind of stick this dude eh, right there and it'll absorb some power. And now if I want to make alloys, I don't have to make it in the smeltery. Right? And then pour the whole thing out, which right now is a little tedious. But I can make hardened glass with it. And hardened glass. Oh, man. Which one's the real hardened glass? Is it this one? No, you're aluminum. You're, oh, right there, hardened glass. So this one, oh, I need to make, yeah, I need to make right here. Pulverized obsidian and pulverized lead go into the thing. Okay, so let's get, I got lead here somewhere. Uh, lead, okay, you're right there. And then we should have obsidian uh, somewhere here. And let's just take a look at what it takes to make hardened glass. So I'm going to have to grind both of these. I think we're going to grind the obsidian first. Let's see what that takes to get done. Oh, not bad, not bad. So let's get, let's get uh, those converted. I get four, okay, and it was like four to one, something like that, right? And oh, no, 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 no! Ah, I didn't catch it. I didn't catch it in time. It made an ingot. Okay, come down here. Huh, got it. All right. So then, let's see. I'll unlock that, and I'll put you and you in here, and you're unbelievably slow. And there we go. Now I have two hardened glass, and I can use this hardened glass right here for the next level of upgrade kits. It's only silver and electrum, which I can make in this guy, and then I can upgrade everybody to the next tier. Very cool. So I think I'm going to call it here for today. This was a really good day. We got ourselves all kinds of technology, and I love, love having RF. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and this is FTB's Academy. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. You know, if you did, hit that like button, and then I will see you in another episode.